Hey Jags, welcome to this week's JagCast. I'm here with Miss Bertrand, and we're going to get an in-depth look on adopt a family. When did adopt a family start? Oh gosh, that's a good question. So if this is South's 32, 32nd year, maybe it's pretty close. Uh, then they've had some version of adopt a family, I believe, since year one. So over three decades. Okay. And about how many how many families are helped which year and. Well, every year, and are they all local to the area? They are definitely all local to the area. Actually, when Adopt a Family started before I was even working at South, um, they were not necessarily Blue Springs families. It was a project where they were helping families um, who had children whose parent or parents were incarcerated or in jail. Mm -hmm. So that's how the that's how it started. And I think they were working with single digit families. Um, but fast forward three decades, it is all Blue Springs area families. Mm -hmm. And for the second year in a row, we've hit our largest numbers. We are 32 families this year. Wow. It's over 140 people, um, which 140 people is a lot. But then I was asked yesterday, how many gifts do you think you wrap? And if we think maybe there are eight or so per person, like mm -hmm. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it in that terms before that there's almost like a thousand gifts wow, yeah. that people wrap, which is insane. Yeah. You know, what does adopt a family mean to you and the rest of the Senate members? I think it is most symbolic of not just Senate, but of South. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine another high school adopting and being responsible for 140 people and not just giving each person like a $20 gift card somewhere. These are wishes. These are needs and I everybody goes above and beyond uh, and if there's a somebody who's maybe struggling um, to accomplish and purchase and cover someone's needs and wishes then that's what mm -hmm. Senate uses their homecoming money for and mm -hmm. I just sincerely cannot imagine a business let alone a high school adopting 140 people I just I'd be shocked if that happens anywhere else in the in the state or in our our area I think it's very unique to to South and mm -hmm. it is really indicative of the giving nature um, and part of that right there's like a little bit of trouble with that because we know especially with Senate when we go to rooms it's this is what we need this is what we need this is what mm -hmm. we need what can you give um, and that's difficult to hear uh, but the students and the staff come through every time and it's almost always stuff for local community yeah uh, what is the pro process and how long does it take for these families and the kids to receive the gifts? So um, senators definitely don't know who any of the families are. And I couldn't tell you and Coach Lewer couldn't tell you any of the family names either. So we go mm -hmm. through um, a third party, essentially, somebody who has who knows what our what families might need a little bit more help each year. And so we do everything in codes. So we identify a whole lot of paperwork that starts in October where we ask our contacts, okay, please start thinking about adoptive family. Uh, mm -hmm. Any families that you know in your building or in your area that could use a little extra help. So we have a form they fill out and we definitely tell the children put down big wishes, right? So sometimes they're gonna write PS5s. Do we expect PS5s? No, but sometimes mm -hmm. we'll have somebody say they have an old gaming system that it's great shape, we won't wrap it up because it's gently used, but we're still able to provide something. So the whole process starts in October. Uh, the families are asked to give back the paperwork by early November. And then in Senate, Coach Lower and I spend about a week taking these 140 people and putting them in, in different classes and assigning them to different staff and faculty and families to adopt. Uh, and then people or classes have about a couple weeks to do the shopping and then we wrap. Um, and we never give the gifts to the families. We are not visiting anybody's home. That is not our business. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to we want to give the parents as much autonomy and power as possible to be able to tell their kids these gifts are from Santa. These gifts are from them. If they want to sign it, mom and dad, great. Um, it is not our business how the the gifts get signed over to the the family. So we never actually meet them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for coming in, and make sure to tune in next week. Thank you.